Oh man, I can't believe we finally made it out of camping. <laughs> yeah, Alex, this is the best spring break ever. Oh shit, what's that? What's what? I heard something out there. Yeah. Oh. My. God. There's a bear over there, you guys.
Betsy. This is just some administrative stuff. What the hell? Who is this girl? She's going to ruin the whole operation. She's going to rat, I can tell. No, we need a new meth intern. Her resume is amazing, and she's so darn cute. <laughs> Remember how long the cute lasted with Audrey? Please, can we keep her? Please, please, please. <laughs> Fine, but let's get to know her first. Yay, I love making new friends. Meth cooks don't have friends. <laughs> you know my friend? <laughs> anyway! <laughs> Betsy, what are some of your strengths? Well, I'm really good at the derivative. Yes, yes, but can you keep us a secret? You mean like unpublished research? Yes. <laughs> I'm also really good with integration. Oh, great, we have lots of integration. We've got the Asians, the Hispanics, the <laughs>
Does it talk? No! Not exactly. <laughs> Your story's growing thin. No, it's just hard to explain. Oh, come on, Anthony, this joke is going on way too long. It's not a joke. You see, one day, I was walking through the woods, hunting for my family, when I came across a small herd of deer sleeping at a clearing. This is my lucky day, I thought. But just as I was about to slay, there was a small explosion. All the deer ran off, but where they had just been was a weird-looking stone. How strange, I thought, but it was a beautiful stone, so I decided to take it home. For weeks it sat in my room until I soon came to realize that it was harder than any stone known to man. Then, one night, as the light of the moon illuminated my stone, it began to hatch, and I realized that this was, in fact, not a stone, but an egg. Are you describing the entire plot of a <laughs> Kingly duties 
to receive the first kiss on the white bride's wedding day. But you didn't have to let her make a lithograph of it. Well, I didn't know she was drawing. I thought she was using the mirror to block out the sun. Honey, I love you. Then why can't you even say so on the wall? What wall? Of the palace, sire. It's all the rage these days. <laughs>
I can handle you and Justin and all you canine sapient bastards. Don't talk about my people that way! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax, I was just making a joke. I'm sorry, I said you're not a good time for me. I'm emotional, you know? You can say that again. You better all just say you never understand. Uh, look, I know a lot of werewolves. Werewolf. I know a lot of werewolf people, werewolf persons. There, there is, there, what was he talking about again? You couldn't handle the cramps for a day. Look, I am a vampire. I can sniff on carts. I'm pretty sure I can handle those. And I feel so ugly. That's because you literally sprout hairs all over your body. <laughs> I mean, I still love you. I still love you. I don't want to touch you. And you can eat what you want? Look, vampire, my teeth are thin and weak. You feed on flesh and bone monthly, Ariella. What are you?
hands of glass and calling more for coloring, with the often traumatic and impossible attempt at assimilation into mainstream society by non-gender conforming figures. The line curvature seems to parallel the duplicitous nature of the female body. I think the piece is trying to undermine traditional notions of femininity. <laughs> It's just a bunch of shapes and colors. I'm sorry? Uh, yeah, sorry, Miss Madison. Oh, dear Lord, Roy. When did you start flossing your teeth? So 
Marty, I think you might have gingivitis. Oh, I don't think it's gingivitis, Doctor. It's probably... No, 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 no! <laughs> I do not need to know. <laughs> okay, uh, do you know which, which row it's in? Or... I know! No, Roy! Roy! Please! Do not talk when my hands are in your mouth! <laughs> I'm begging you! Please! <laughs> Do not talk! <laughs> okay, uh... Okay, uh... <laughs> Again, do you, do you know what row it's in? I think it might be like the seventh row back. Okay, uh, uh, is, is that right? I know! Oh, Roy! Please! Do not talk with my hands in your mouth! You are literally a shark! Literally a shark! You will sever my hand with your shark mouth if you talk when my hand is in that mouth of a shark.
Sure thing. Walt? <laughs>
They've been following you ever since you stole those chaps from that aristocratic French lady. Please! Uh, <laughs> FBI! You're under arrest after Disney for the plagiarism over 37 movies included, but not limited to Cinderella, Dean on the sequel, and Air Bud. <laughs> George Winslow's uh, hourglass was shattered before he uh, had enough time, before he spent all the sand he had. Um, it always seems so strange how the, the incessant march of fate seems to aim itself with some sort of dark, farcical cutting at those most capable of keeping its darkness at bay. Uh, the, the, the cruel joke of it you know, almost makes you want to laugh instead of cry. Almost. Um, uh, but, but I'd like today to be a bit more of a celebration of George, um, of what he meant to all of us. Uh, because of that, I've come up with a little story that, that I think represents uh, what George meant to me, and hopefully, in doing so, it'll hold a little bit of truth about, about what George meant to each of you. Um, it started in high school. Uh, George and I, you know, we used to play baseball out back behind the grocery store. Uh, we were playing one day, and we decided we wanted some sodas. Uh, so, so I sent Georgie in, he came back with the sodas, I, I gave him a 20, um, and he, he gave me my change of 550. <laughs> 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 uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I'd like to start my speech over. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I bet you never told me about that one, did he, Helen? 
the Detroit Lions. <laughs> a few hours later, and I'm still watching from my balcony, it's a slow day. <laughs> That's like a shark calling those fish to clean its teeth. It's our <laughs> That's like a woman who owns cats calling cats her arch nemesis. <laughs>